Have you ever wondered if time travel could be more than just a plot in your favorite science fiction movie? From H.G. Wells' The Time Machine to the beloved Doctor Who series, the concept of traversing through time has long held a certain captivating charm. The prospect of revisiting history or catching a glimpse of the future is undeniably alluring. But is this allure grounded in reality, or is it merely a flight of fancy? The answer to this question lies in the realm of theoretical physics and the underpinnings of our current understanding of time. Einstein's theory of relativity, the space-time continuum, and the intriguing concept of time dilation all play fundamental roles in our exploration of time travel. So let's delve into the intriguing world of time and space to understand if time travel could be a reality. Time, as we understand it, isn't an absolute concept, but is interwoven with space, forming the space-time continuum. Now that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down a bit. Picture a fabric, a beautifully woven tapestry, if you will. This fabric isn't just sitting in a drawer somewhere. It makes up the very universe we live in. And on this fabric, time and space are not separate entities, but threads woven together, creating a four-dimensional structure we call the space-time continuum. Now this idea might seem radical, but it has a strong backing. Albert Einstein, a household name in the world of physics, presented this concept in his theory of relativity. According to Einstein, time and space are not fixed, but are influenced by factors such as gravity and speed. This brings us to a fascinating concept known as time dilation. Have you ever wished for more hours in a day? Well, Einstein's theory suggests that it might be possible. How, you ask? Through the phenomenon of time dilation. Time dilation is a result of the relative motion of observers. This means that time can run faster or slower depending on how fast you're moving relative to something else. Let's dive into an example. Imagine an astronaut traveling at near light speed in a spaceship. For them, time would pass slower compared to someone at rest on Earth. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie, it's a scientifically proven fact. This relative nature of time opens the door to some mind-boggling possibilities. If time can slow down or speed up, could we potentially manipulate it to our advantage? Could we travel to the past or fast forward into the future? While this is currently beyond our technological capabilities, it is an exciting prospect that continues to captivate scientists and science enthusiasts alike. This relative nature of time leads us to some intriguing possibilities, including the concept of time travel. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore these possibilities and the theoretical underpinnings of time travel. Stay tuned. According to Einstein's theory, time dilation suggests that time slows down as one approaches the speed of light. Now, this concept may sound like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's actually a key underpinning of our current understanding of time. Time dilation is the idea that time passes differently depending on the relative motion of observers. Imagine an astronaut cruising through space at speeds close to the speed of light. For this space explorer, time would seem to pass normally. However, back on Earth, time would appear to move faster. This means that upon returning from their cosmic journey, the astronaut would find that more time had passed on Earth than they had experienced in space. What might have felt like a short trip for the astronaut could equate to a significant leap forward in Earth years. This isn't just theoretical musing, either. Time dilation is a scientifically verified phenomenon. In fact, it's crucial for the functioning of our global positioning system, or GPS. The satellites that make GPS work are moving at high speeds and are further from the Earth's gravitational pull, which means the clocks on these satellites experience time dilation. They tick slightly slower than clocks on Earth. To ensure accuracy, the GPS system has to correct for this time difference. But what does this mean for time travel? Well, if we could build a spaceship that could travel close to the speed of light, an astronaut could theoretically journey into the future, as they would experience less time passing than those of us left on Earth. Yet, here's the catch. Achieving such speeds is currently beyond our technological reach. The energy requirements to accelerate an object to near light speeds are, quite frankly, astronomical. While achieving speeds close to light is beyond our current capabilities, the theoretical possibility of time travel remains. So, while we may not be hopping into a time machine anytime soon, the science does leave the door open, if only a crack, for the potential of time travel. Opening. 
Theoretical physics suggests other possible avenues for time travel, including wormholes and black holes. Delving deeper into the realm of theoretical physics, we come across the intriguing concepts of wormholes and black holes. Imagine wormholes as cosmic shortcuts through the fabric of space-time itself. They've been theorized as pathways that could connect distant regions of the universe or even different time periods. While we've yet to discover a wormhole, they're mathematically plausible, according to Einstein's equations. Now, envision a black hole. These are regions in space-time where gravity is so intensely concentrated that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. Black holes are like cosmic vacuums, relentlessly drawing in everything that comes too close. But could they also be gateways to other times or places? Some physicists have suggested that wormholes might form near black holes. These wormholes could potentially be traversable, opening up the possibility for journeys through time and space. It's an enticing idea, but it's important to note that these are still theoretical propositions. The reality could be far different and far more complex. The energies required to create or manipulate a wormhole or a black hole are beyond anything we can currently generate. Moreover, we'd also need to find a way to stabilize the wormhole to pass through it. Theoretical physicists suggest that we would need something known as exotic matter a type of substance that has yet to be discovered to achieve this. And then there's the potential for causality violations. This is a fancy way of saying that traveling through a wormhole or a black hole might allow for the possibility of events to cause themselves. That's a head scratcher, right? In conclusion, while wormholes and black holes provide tantalizing prospects for time travel, they remain purely in the realm of theoretical physics, we still have much to learn and understand about these cosmic phenomena. Closing, although purely theoretical, the potential of wormholes and black holes provide fascinating avenues for contemplating time travel. The concept of time travel, while fascinating, comes with its share of challenges and paradoxes. One of the most famous is the grandfather paradox. Imagine, if you will, journeying back in time and preventing your own grandparents from meeting. This seemingly simple act would mean you could never be born. But if you weren't born, how could you travel back in time to stop them from meeting? This paradox underlines the logical problems and contradictions that could arise with time travel. Now let's consider the theoretical constructs like wormholes and black holes. These space-time shortcuts are fascinating, but creating and maintaining them presents substantial challenges. They require what's known as exotic matter to stabilize them, something that's not within our current scientific reach. Furthermore, they pose potential risks for causality violations, further complicating their feasibility. Despite these challenges, the concept of time travel continues to captivate us, remaining a fascinating topic of speculation and scientific exploration.